So you made this project called Cactus Image Viewer. And this is, so yes, take sir. me through this project actually, because I believe it has been around for a little bit, but then you like really, you know, overhauled it and, and revamped it for the jam in some really cool ways. Yeah, um, the original idea was be, came from me ha frustrated with the status of most image viewers and uh, of course the Microsoft image viewer. Um, that thing is slow, you click on an image and it takes like a few seconds to load and it just, it feels heavy, feels hard to use. And partly the, the reason behind I wanted to make all of this is to make something that I would use every day, like something from as my daily driver. So uh, the, originally I started this, as you know, uh, a while ago, I think a year or so ago. And um, it was in, I, I'm using the DRM GUI library. And um, yeah, I set up something using STB image. So like it had, it was basic, could load a few uh, formats and I pushed it. But then like during the jam, it was... Uh, coincidentally had some time to work on it again and during the time i had um worked in uis from scratch and stuff so um thought i would put the whole thing entirely in um in my own ui system and uh yeah and that basically sprawled to adding more features supporting more file formats you know finishing it off i like to when i'm starting something to you know wrap it up in a way that it's usable and you know released in a sense so yeah yeah so yeah why don't why don't you show us what it looks like show us how it works i see you've got a nice folder of test images here. yeah so here is um uh, it's a standalone application it's uh you can just double click it open it and uh drag and drop uh, a file or click open and you it fires it up uh drag and drop a file here it loads it it's um uh, it's got um a few nice features like, uh, well, you have the basics, zooming, and uh, zooming to the mouse cursor thingy. Uh, you can turn off individual um, channels, um, take a look at them, uh, you can rotate the image. Uh, also, one of the most most requested features for me has been something that allows me to, to view pixel art um, easily. And at the same time, right. support something that will just, uh, the, the filtering is the biggest deal. So I have here just a toggle to switch between nearest and linear. So like whenever you want to take a look and you can even turn on a grid and you can just basically see all of them uh, pixels, which has been something very useful for working on pixel art games. Yeah, yeah um, it is so sad when you open yeah. up some kind of pixel image and you're just left with this blurry yeah, it's mess. It's a blur. Yeah. <laughs> it's a blob there. It's a, yeah. Um, so yeah, that was the basic use. Uh, you can also uh, inspect the colors. Um, you can just hover, uh, right, uh, middle click with the mouse or hold control to inspect any color. It shows you the values. You can right click to copy the um, hex code. Um, some basic uh. stuff, basically. Um, <laughs> <laughs> These are all like so many little quality of life things that I have needed yeah. for so long. It's so it's such a pain to like, oh, I want to, you know, do slightly more than just checking if this is the correct image. Well, let me boot up all of yeah. Photoshop so that I can like do the yes. eyedropper and copy one thing out, right? Yes. Yes, and you have to wait for a whole thing. And uh speaking of Photoshop, there's a few nice editing features I added to this thing. Um, because like the, the idea about the editing, is I, you know how easy it is on your phone when you take a picture to crop it, change a few values and save it. Like mm -hmm. that's something so straightforward and it's mind boggling that we don't have something that straightforward on, on like desktop, which should be like this huge, powerful machine. I don't think I need to fire up Photoshop just to crop an image. So you can enter right. crop mode with C, right? Pressing C or in the edit menu. And then you can basically drag and um, drag the whole box and set the dimensions you need. Um, it's also, um, you know, one pixel at a time. You can set it. And when you're done, you hit C again, and it's cropped, but it's not saved. So, like, it's just, like, work in progress, what you're doing. When you're done editing, you can click Save and choose the codec you want to save it in, and then you save the image. So, like, here we can say um, output dot... PNG and hit save. And then when we're out, um, it's, uh, it should be here. Where is it? Yep, it's in here the it is. Output.png. It's in the middle. 
Yeah, so like it does something like that. It also saves the rotation. There's also, um, you can edit the hue of the image, saturation, contrast, brightness, um, gamma. You can also render it in base as RP RPG, uh, uh, yeah, sRGB. Um, and you can also have blur, which is, uh, you can, you know, a basic Gaussian blur um, that you can add to the image. And all of this will be, uh, when you do whatever crazy stuff, when you save it, um, it will be saved as well. And we have it there. It was quite fun to figure out the shader stuff because all of this is being done in the shader. All mm -hmm. the editing stuff uh, is on the shader, including your nice. cropping and everything. Um, oh. It has like uh, a multi-threaded loader. So like the UI still works while it's loading the image. Um, it can load a, a huge number of file formats because I switched to using a uh, Windows image component, which um, basically means whatever Windows can support, this can support. So if nice. you need like a specific codec, like uh, HEIF or uh, raw codecs, like for example, this is a raw image, this is NEF. Um, this thing can you open just raws? basically go to them. It can open RAWs, but you yeah. have to install the codec. So if you go to... Uh, Microsoft's uh, store and then download the codec. It's for free, and we fire up this thing. It will work, and you have it. It's here, and um, and all the editing still works with them and the Gaussian blur and stuff. And speaking of that, um, it also is uh, doesn't run on idle. So like when you're idle, it basically slows down and stops. It's no yeah, longer there. It's going down. Yeah, and that is like a really common like pitfall the... for these these handmade projects. Yeah, I have because it's surprised. Yeah, it fries everything otherwise. But the cool thing about that is, despite all of this, the UI animation still works fine. So, like, UI animation handles that. It, like, basically uh, uh, forces it to keep running until the animations are over. And, uh, and all of this UI is, is, is immediate mode as well. So, like, this is based on uh, Ryan Fleury's uh, uh, ideas and stuff. Sure. And uh, you can set the background. This is also a widget also made in the IM um, Library, which is all open source, you can guys find it on my um, repo. All of this is open source and for yeah, free. Shout out, shout out your, um, your GitHub username or something. Uh, it's with simulator. Uh, okay. W a s s i m simulator. Find that link. <laughs> you can fit the image to width to height, fit it inside of the frame. Um, you can have a histogram as well uh, of the current image that you have and filter based on whatever you want to look at. You can zoom in and zoom out in the inst uh, histogram. Does the histogram um, update other live stuff, while you edit the image? Does it update live? That doesn't. No, no. it doesn't do that. <laughs> feature request, then. That's, I haven't that's my feature implemented request. that yet. Oh, well. Because that thing requires, because uh, when I while I load it, is I load it into the CPU memory as raw image data, oh, and then I right. remove it, it and GPU, I free right. the memory. Okay. Okay. Yeah, and I do it in the okay. GPU. So All right, fair if enough. I have to do that, it will be a bit more. But it's not impossible. So um, other stuff you can do is you can, like there's a few things you can change here. You can set like what how the image viewer behaves when you switch the image, reset position or save the file, the position of each file, or the zoom of each file. Um, you can set the checkerbox colors. Uh, you can choose different themes for this thing, for this UI as well. We have like purple, crimson, uh, black, so good. or we can even have a light scene theme as ah, well. For me, I like the crimson black. Yes. <laughs> um, yeah, like you can hide. You can. It also has like full screen mode. I'm not gonna press it. I'll try not break anything. But like yeah, you can hide wise. the status bar. Yeah. <laughs> um, it also sorts the files based on their sorting order in the file. It's in the folder itself. So the folder like sort by name or by date. It will pick up oh, that as well. Nice. Yep. So you can. Um, so you can use this for. Yeah. Uh, this this is great. I have to. I have to yeah. ask then. Like, <laughs> the Windows Image Viewer is just one of many. Yeah programs that Microsoft has failed to make or failed to make yes. good. Um, <laughs> do you have ambitions for other other programs in the Cactus family of products? I, what I want to do is I want to uh, write a front end for FFmpeg. So like something where you Ooh. basically a, a converter that uses FFmpeg but because FFmpeg is very um, it's, it, there's a lot of friction in using it. So you have to know how to type the command, and it's hard, and it's not intuitive. Like if you, a basic thing that you want to do is like uh, Discord's eight megabytes limit, and you have a video that's fourteen megabytes. All you care about is making it smaller. So that should be a functionality that somehow converts, comes up with a good heuristic that will size it down for you. Something like that, you know. Um, and that's something I, I want to do in the future at some point, but that's a little bit later. 
Um, other stuff we can do is you can view GIFs. Um, all right, or look, GIFs. Look, however, we only you have like so it. long in this demo here for you to show off all these features, <laughs> okay. man. Come on. Uh, sorry, I'll be quick. Uh, you can pause <laughs> and go individual frames. The same rules apply with the nearest and whatever. And uh, I don't know if I forgot everything, but that I think that covers most. Oh, you can also have, uh, there's keyboard controls as well. Like you can zoom in and out with the keyboard, uh, move it, and also control the uh, everything. So yeah, we're looking at a I lot of cacti literally, here. Uh, Asaf is pointing out a good thing. I literally not seen one other image viewer that lets you step through the frames of a GIF. Like, like yeah, it's like it's such a simple thing. Like you, you're already going through them in, when they're viewing it, right? Like you're already loading them and viewing them, and this is just allows you to go through them like that. And um, and uh, yeah, also transparency. You can toggle it. Oh, see, like you see weird shit if you disable the alpha oh, channel. You yeah, see, like fun, whatever. Fun, funny thing too. I think I think we're about to see more of this kind of thing. Oh quite yeah, soon. Yeah. <laughs> so so I'm looking forward yeah. to that. Um. Well, honestly, like that. I mean, that's that's a fantastic demo, and and Thank you it's a fantastic much. program. I'm. It, it makes me really happy to to see this thing put together. Thank and you. for those who Thank are you. unfamiliar, um, this is not like Wassim's first handmade project that he's created. Um, you may also know him as the creator of AV Racer, a, a 2D racing game that you can go buy on Steam right now. He's also a literal surgeon, like in real life. <laughs> I don't know where he finds the time for this outside of, you know, surgery, but it's, it's super impressive to yeah. see. Um, so That's very kind of you. Yeah. Thank so, you, ben. so thanks so much, Wassim, for coming on. Um, I'm very happy. Thank you. I'm happy to be yeah. here. And you and, all can uh, go download yeah. Cactus Viewer from the link that Asaf yes, shared please. above. It's, it's a program it's you can put free. on your computer today, and it is yes. way better than the Windows <laughs> Image Viewer. So go, go download that.